Hi guys and welcome to a new series that I'm going to be starting called Dakar City. So uh, the first thing I'm going to kind of do is I'm actually going to be giving you guys a tour um, of the actual old city and why I kind of need to change it and why I wanted to start fresh. Um, so I'm actually in my really old map that you can you can probably remember, at least you older subs uh, will remember from kind of the early days of my channel and uh, kind of where I actually put everything. I've also switched texture packs as well to uh, modern HD um, as it's actually a really cool texture pack and I'm planning on using that for this kind of series. Um, you can also see that I'm in a suit as well which is part of the texture pack which is quite awesome. Um, so yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is pretty much just tour and I'll be kind of talking to you guys about, about what's going to be in the series. So the first thing is that my roads were just tiny. And they really were. It was kind of a, a nightmare to ever fit any cars in. It never looked quite right. Um, but the other thing was that I was actually, instead of having the kind of stone slabs up by one, I was having the road up by one. So when I actually put in, for example, a full block, you know, you've got these, you can't put the buttons on the wheels. The cars just look really odd. Um, so yeah, um, also I was kind of using this old world. It'll kind of be a, quite an informal uh, kind of thing here and more of a tour. But this is where I actually build all of my ships. This is a new one. Well, not really a new one. This one is one that I stopped probably in December. As a type, uh, I think it's 22 frigate. So I need to finish that one off. Um, but as soon as I kind of start rebuilding again and, and building again, I'll kind of, this will probably be one of my first out of the new batch. Just because it's pretty much done. Um, I'll have to kind of touch up the front again. Uh, this is kind of bits that I've learned kind of since then. Uh, also my kind of small tutorials, I also build them come on here in one of those plots, but I'll, I'll kind of do that on the new city. Um, so yeah, let's kind of just start the tour, and I'll just kind of work my way through through the actual city, talking about the kind of things that I've learned from doing this map uh, before actually retiring this world. So this was kind of a kind of war museum, so I've just got all the tanks and a couple of planes and things like that in this big kind of glass box. It's quite interesting. It's not, not too bad. Oh, it's also my kind of first look into... This texture pack is kind of uh, with sandstone and stuff like that. It looks quite cool, so quite happy with that. I'm just going to make sure it's actually day, which it is. Ah, okay, I know. This world, I've actually frozen the actual uh, the day cycle, so it's going to be stuck on dawn if I keep it there, but I might as well keep it kind of midday. Um, so, yeah, here's just all the all the kind of stuff that's in, in this, just kind of a small museum. I'm just going to try and find an exit. Here we go. I'll just kind of start through the piers and kind of go through... Step by step. So the piers, I also want to kind of redo and make look look quite nice. Um, I'm pretty sure this this design is really really close to Jag Funder's design. Um, as this is kind of the early days when I was literally just doing his tutorials, rather than even starting my own channel or even thinking about it. This is the kind of world for that. So I've got the Zum World uh, class destroyer, which there will be a tutorial of. Of course, it's on my list of uh, to do, uh, and it's just kind of got a load of these ships in everywhere. I think that's Coney class. Yeah, there's a tutorial coming for that. Type 23 frigate, um, this small kind of spec ops crap craft. I actually quite like this. Uh, I think it kind of works quite nicely. I'm, I'm quite happy with that one. Um, I've got a big empty space here, so I, I did have a move around before I actually decided to kind of stop uh, kind of doing everything. Uh, so there we go, we're back at the museum again. Uh, what's this? This is the Nelson class uh, heavy destroyer, my own custom ship, the one that I've built myself, uh, which is quite cool. Um, I'm actually looking forward to doing the tutorial on that because, of course, it's going to be two parts uh, with, with the kind of destroyer version and then also the aircraft carrier version as well. Um, some sort of small ship, I think. Cyclone class, patrol boat, the American one. And I've got the Queen Elizabeth here. Um, the Queen Elizabeth, actually, I might as well talk about it and kind of incorporate it into this video. I'm going to redo it, pretty much. Um, and the reason being that there's a lot of... You know, if we have a look at the side, for example, it's very straight and it's, it hasn't really got any shape to it. Um, especially when you actually go underneath the water, the, the bottom of the ship is just terrible compared to kind of what I can build now. Um, a lot of the stuff like the towers and stuff, I'll just literally grab off and put on because they're, they're pretty good. Also, this main deck, I'm just going to grab off. So it'll, it'll kind of be a quick build compared to the two months that it took me to build it in the first place. Um, but that's my kind of super carry. So I'm going to be re rebuilding that one. Oh, with the F-35 uh, Lightnings as well. They look really cool kind of on there. Uh, over here I've got Jag Funder's Big E, which is which is, is one of the kind of ships that really got me into into shipbuilding in Minecraft as well. So Jag Funder has definitely kind of influenced uh, in me in that way. 
Um, so I've just got it next to next to the Queen Elizabeth just to see the actual size scale because both of us are built to the same scale. So it was interesting to see how big it is. Uh, what have we got next? We've got the Invincible class aircraft carrier. Uh, so that's one of the ones I've already got a tutorial for. Uh, I also want to kind of make sure I don't miss out too much of the, the kind of city as well. There's not too much to it, to be honest. Uh, these cranes as well are JAG funders. Uh, so that, that's that. Um, yeah, I've just got these kind of... I was just messing around with these kind of industrial warehouse type buildings. They're pretty simple, just with these doors. And they're pretty empty as well. But um, that's pretty much it. Again, the roads are too small to actually get anything into it. So it's kind of a bit, bit odd. Um, what I'll do is I will go... What I might do is I might do a circuit and then come back around like, through the city instead. Because I, th I think probably you guys are more interested in the ships at this point. Uh, the Albion class, uh, kind of LPD, it's, it's quite cool. Um, again, tutorial will be coming out for that. It's just a, a bit of a big ship. Uh, if you have a look at the, the kind of aircraft carrier there, the Invincible class, it's not that much smaller than that. Um, and it's, it's quite complex. Uh, you know, it's quite big as well, especially the kind of superstructure is quite big and complex. And that's why it would take kind of a bit longer. And I kind of would like it to. Um, but again, that is, that is really cool. Um, that that should be out, you know, within the next few months, as I uh, as I kind of said in my my update videos, and of course it's got this really cool inside dock. Um, those small crafts and things like that are coming as small tutorials beforehand, and here of course got a big warehouse it looks like. Um, then here I've got the Slava class, which is looking quite nice, and this is why we start to get lag because of the uh, shaders and also fences. It doesn't really mix so well. Uh, but Slava class, really happy with how that one turned out. I think when I uh, pasted it, the trapdoors went a bit nuts, but that's fine. We've got HMS Warrior, that's cool. Really massive ship, HMS uh, Victory, which looks really nice in shaders as well. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, we've got the two versions of the Mary Rose. Uh, the kind of first one, which just wasn't quite happy with. Um, it, it just didn't look quite right. I couldn't get it to kind of feel like the actual ship it just didn't seem quite right so i upscaled it a bit I, I kind of added an extra couple of blocks on the deck i think i only really added a couple extras like two blocks or something like that to make it wider but it kind of gave me enough space um the black pearl of course uh, a lot of you guys have kind of watched that tutorial and you really like that tutorial so there's the black pearl i've kind of got that docked i'll probably copy all these over as well into the new world uh, i've also got the 14 gun brig my three small patrol boats, some of them I need to redo because there's some glitches in editing. Um, so I am going to be kind of redoing some of those. I think the Archer class looks really nice in this texture pack, actually. It kind of looks quite sleek. Uh, what else we got? Oh, yeah, over here. These are just plots of land that I actually used to build. So there you go. There's a trebuchet that will be coming up uh, kind of later on. We've also got all these tanks and stuff. I'll go over in kind of more detail on over those uh, in just a second. I'll just go through these first. So the river class tutorial is coming up for that. Hunt class minesweeper tutorial is also coming up for that. Uh, one thing I did actually miss is that there is on these piers is actually smaller ships, uh, kind of on the on the side and kind of on these piers. So you know, like Kingston class, uh, Armadale class, those kind of ships are, are on there. All the smaller ones. Um, and there's probably there's actually loads that I haven't actually got on this world. Uh, but let's kind of go through these smaller uh, kind of. Smaller build, so yeah, trebuchet, there is a tutorial already kind of recorded for that. I just need to make sure that I've kind of got enough time to uh, to kind of fit it in. It's, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's not my best. It's quite small as well compared to other ones. The battering ram, you, I think you've got that tutorial now. Uh, and then here's a load of small vehicles, and there's quite a lot. And there's still probably going to be a few more coming out uh, kind of in the future. Uh, so I can kind of just copy and paste these. They're all in their kind of places with their signs, Panzer IV or whatever. Also the Scorpion tank from Halo. So there is quite a lot of stuff here. Um, I think that one's from Warhammer. I don't know. What's it called? Yeah, Land Raider. That's definitely from the Warhammer series. Uh, so we've got all of these kind of things. The Bane, I think it's Bane Blade. Absolutely massive tank. I'm really happy with how that one turned out. Um, so yeah, these are just the little buildings. Sphera Gustav, that's now out. That's a lot easier than I thought. Uh, so you can see that I've got quite a lot of vehicles already. Um, and pretty much all of them, I think probably three or four of them maybe aren't out yet, the tutorials wise. So 
there's loads of those in my kind of tank tutorial playlist or also my vehicle tutorial playlist if there's anything that you kind of go oh that that kind of looks quite cool um so yeah i've got the kind of those i think actually what we'll do is we'll go through the sub bays first and then go through the airfield as well i have got an airfield it's it's not really an airfield it's more of a big area where i've just got them so these are my kind of sub bays um I might, I'm probably going to rework them completely and then and I'm going to redo it. Just because the kind of edges, the actual sides of them look just really boring on, on the kind of outside. It looks cool on the inside. It's boring on the on the outside. So I've got my kind of submarines in here. Uh, probably a Stute class, Trafalgar class. Uh, USS Nautilus, that looks like, yep. And this, it looks really big. So this might be the Seawolf, the, the American Seawolf class submarine as well, which there is going to be a tutorial for. Um, as the railways is. I've just got an empty one there. Um, I tried to fit in Jag Funders Typhoon class, this massive sub. It came out to about, I think it was here. It was, it was honestly only about half of it fit in the actual sub base. So I need to kind of work those kind of out. Um, this is quite a quite an old build. Um, this is actually my own design of, of patrol boat. So if you guys want this one, I'm more than happy to make it. It's one of my own designs. Again, it's this kind of earlier design, so I'll, I'll need to kind of rework it a little bit. Um, and you can't see it at all underwater with these shaders. But that's that's kind of a quite a nice, simple little design. It's got two Zodiacs on the back. Uh, you know, we've got the smokestack. Kind of a nice thing here. The bridge isn't too bad either. Um, though it does look very strange with uh, this texture pack kind of thing. But yeah, so that was one of my own designs. It's just got a nice gun on it. Uh, Tegative class battleship. That's quite cool. That was my first battleship. My first real big warship, I guess. Uh, except for, of course, the, the Type 45 destroyer, which I've got here as well. One of my first kind of big tutorials as well. Uh, if not my first... I think this was my, my first warship tutorial. Uh, then I've got the Type 42 destroyer. That one's also coming out pretty soon, actually. Um, I'm kind of in the, in the workings of, of recording that because I need to get another destroyer out. USS Independence, the absolute pain in the ass to actually do the tutorial on, but that one is definitely out now. And, of course, the Visby class, which which does look really nice in this texture pack, actually. looks quite sleek, which is kind of good. Um, I still haven't decided if I'm going to be going with wool or with with actually clay with these. I'll, I'll kind of have a look when I paste it in. Um, but now let's kind of go over to the airfield, and this is what I mean by the airfield. It is just a massive flattened area made out of stone. Okay, so I've actually found the airfield after a little bit, and um, I, I completely forgot about this. Um, you guys that are kind of sci-fi fans, this is Serenity from from the kind of uh, show Firefly. So it's still obviously a work in progress, but um, I've kind of been just I was working on this at least um, just to get the rough shape to give it. Obviously, the coloring and everything like that is completely it's just blank at the minute. It's literally just me chipping it out, and then I kind of cut things in half and flip them over and, and things like that. So it's it's pretty basic. Um, but actually, I'm kind of looking forward to when I get back to tutorialing to actually get this done. Uh, as it as it kind of looks quite good with the glowstone and the actual connected textures. But let's kind of go through the kind of airfield, um, at least the old one. And you can see the sub base there, so that's kind of where it was on the map. Um, I can't even remember most of these, but I think that's the Lockheed something something. Lockheed, yeah, the, the TriStar. So that's the TriStar. We've got the Airbus that's now out. Uh, we've got the uh, Convair something. I can't remember most of the names of these. Antonov AN-225, massive. If you look at the size between these two, the Airbus and also the Antonov, you can see the kind of size differences. That's why it's taken me kind of a while. It's going to take even longer for me to get this one done as I'll, I'll have to definitely kind of basically miss a tutorial to do it. Uh, we've just got loads of other ones. I think I might just fly through. Uh, this was another Antonov that I just decided to change the color scheme a little bit and put a white stripe in just to see what it looks like. And it looks okay, I guess. Um, but I don't know. So let's have a look further. Um, this is going to be missing tons and tons of of kind of aircraft as well. Um, and what I used to do is with these tutorials, when I finish a tutorial, put a green piece of wool next to it because I built all my aircraft here. Uh, but I kind of stopped doing that quite quickly as it started to get really complicated. I just started building them in the tutorial world, the flat world that I've got. Uh, so I'll just kind of try and fly over here as quickly as possible. Um, as, as a lot of you guys have kind of seen these builds before. Uh, there's kind of a lot, as you can see. Um, and there's going to be, there's even more now. I've probably got twice the amount of, uh, of kind of builds um, 
builds kind of in there as well. I've got a Boeing seven four seven. Um, but yeah, that's that's there's kind of a lot, and there really is quite a lot. So I'm gonna have to kind of fit this into my world. But obviously, I'll be splitting this up into the kind of military airport. I'm gonna make a military airport, and I'm also gonna make a, a civilian airport as well. Um, it's gonna be quite good. So anyway, that's that's the kind of that's my old airfield. It's just kind of a, a load of stone, and that's all it is. It's just a massive area uh, with a stone kind of floor, uh, kind of for it. So now let's kind of head into the city, and we can kind of, um, or I can kind of talk about the kind of buildings and things like that. Again, what I've learned: these roads are just tiny uh, compared to what I've uh, these been working on, which I'll be showing you guys a bit later on. I've got something that was obviously flying up here. Uh, I think that might have been the last bit of the blimp that I was working on that I just couldn't finish off. Um, I did start building a football stadium. This this kind of it didn't kind of work. I couldn't figure it out. I got the football pitch to look right, um, but the kind of rest. I mean, it was kind of getting there. If I if I actually drop down into here, it kind of works, um, but it kind of doesn't as well. It's it's very difficult to kind of say it especially with a big building like this i did build it by hand i didn't use any world edit or anything like that so it was a real pain in the ass um but you know yeah it's one of the i think this the pitch was actually built off uh, the biggest pitch that you can actually do legally uh, for football but i think what i'm going to do in the new world is i will be trying to build another one of these uh, kind of a bit better as well um but at least i've got a kind of couple of ideas of, of how to do it um it's pretty simple i've just been using two blocks on these I just kind of view, um, and one thing that I found out, uh, I had to kind of figure out exactly where, you know, where you can still keep on seeing, so I had to kind of pull that back, uh, which is something I didn't really expect to have to do, but I, I had to kind of figure it out, especially when, for example, if you're sat all the way back here, you've still actually got a good view of the pitch, which is quite surprising, uh, so I've actually tried to kind of calculate that in, and I can use those on the new pitch whenever I get around to it. Um, here I kind of had like a monument park, uh, so I've got the Trafalgar kind of monument or the Nelson monument. I can't remember what it's called. I know it's in Trafalgar Square. Um, so uh, that's quite cool. That's quite a nice pillar. I might uh, I might just copy that straight into the new world um, as it looks quite good. Uh, Chichen Itza. This is my kind of full scale uh, version of it. It's, it's quite cool. Um, it doesn't look very good in this texture pack at all because the blocks are completely different. Uh, I think that's cracked stone bricks and, and you know it's a completely different texture. It's kind of more of a builder's texture. Um, so it does look a little bit kind of weird. Um, what else is around here? See, so yeah, I've just got a nice big arch there. Um, Stonehenge. Uh, this is kind of my version of Stonehenge, at least. It doesn't look too bad at all. It looks quite cool. It looks okay. Um, I, I'm not sure if I'll actually copy it over. It just doesn't have enough, enough character to it. Uh, the Washington Monument as well. I kind of built an absolutely massive one of those. And I didn't realize just how big it was. I always thought it was kind of that size. And it's not. Uh, so this is my kind of full scale one. I just put it in the middle of this park, uh, which I was working on. I probably won't copy it over. It's not uh, an amazing build. Um, but yeah, it does have this really cool stairway. So I'm just going to fly up to the top, and I'll, I'll show you kind of the, that you can actually drop down as well. Um, that's really cool. The stairway was a nightmare because it gets smaller as you go up as well. So I had to kind of work that into it, but it does kind of make this kind of trippy dropper type thing. And I tried to make it so it's a one block basically a jumping part here um, but yeah the up up kind of part up here you can't really see out but it was going to be a kind of nice idea to be able to see out over everything I don't know if you can actually see yeah there's a football pitch over there um, so let's drop down anyway that's uh, quite cool it's quite trippy uh, but yeah that's that's kind of I decided to just throw that in uh, to the actual monument itself even though it has kind of nothing to do with it uh, and over here, I've just got a Pegasus, I think it is, I was working on. Um, in this texture pack, the gold blocks do not look good at all, but in Sfax, it's kind of nice and kind of connected. Uh, so I was working on, on kind of like statues like this, and they're really, really difficult. Um, statues are very, very difficult to do and to get right. As you can see, I was kind of working with two different types of the, the feet just to see if I could get it right. Uh, it's still it's still all right, though. It's kind of nice and basic. Uh, this is actually the tallest skyscraper that I've ever made and probably the biggest one. And it really does go on for quite a while, and the, the kind of drop down is is quite large, as you can see. It's it's pretty big, um, so I'll just make our way to the top and drop off that. We've also got a nice, cool building over there. I'll probably 
Copy what I learned from that as well and put that into the new world. Uh, come on, it's taken a while to get up. So if we just go up here, there we go. So it's kind of the top of it. This is right at the top. Oh, oh my God. That's that's pretty nuts. I didn't realize that. <laughs> so this person has put in, in the actual thing when you go to the top. You actually get to see that. That's interesting, though. This has actually kind of made it so he, he's definitely credited for, for his texture pack. So it's made by that guy, if you can actually sit past the building. But you can already see how high this up it, up this is, and it does take a while to fall. And usually you can actually jump across the entire road just by falling off it. But there's a there's the massive one. Um, I quite kind of like the style of how it kind of works its way up and kind of goes a bit diagonal as well. Uh, this is a really cool kind of building uh, that I was working on. And I, I kind of never got around to finishing it, but it was basically... These kind of layers, they're kind of uh, using these curves um, to kind of make its way up, and it's kind of staggered. So there we go. So there's it from the front as well. So you kind of got this big lighted area. I'll just go inside. It's not that big, um, unfortunately. I mean, it is quite big, obviously, when you look up. But um, it's not kind of got a lot of room in it. Um, so I wasn't really sure what it was going to be. I'll probably do something similar on the New World. Um, and now this is where we're going to start to lag, because I think there's a lot of item frames, which I've decided that, you know, you shouldn't really use item frames anymore. Um, this building here uh, was actually built by me and a friend in a kind of tech it world. Uh, we decided to build a city, kind of a tech it city world. And this was our tallest building you know, compared to all the rest that I've got around it now. It's pretty small. Um, but with, with kind of converting and, and taking tech it kind of buildings over, you kind of get a load of stairs with the missing blocks. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all right. It's quite cool. Whoa, it's really bright in here. There's way too much lighting in here. Um, I did have these really cool... I've got a gym in here. So there's kind of a couple of things I can kind of grab ideas from. I think I did these off tutorials. I just tried to do that. But again, these kind of blocks that are missing you just get stairs everywhere. So yeah, I had a gym. Uh, I think what else did we have? I think we had an ice rink over here. And this was uh, really, really good with the micro blocks in Tekkit. This was a really cool looking snowman. And now it's, it's just a ton of stairs. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that was kind of like a little ice rink there. Now we got snowballs. Yeah, that's good. Oh, my God. Why have I got pressure plates everywhere? I was going to punch through. Yeah, and we also had on each side these kind of biodomes, which had a load of trees and stuff in them. Um, and when you actually wake it way up. Uh, which I actually can't get up there, so I need to actually find the stairs. So I'll just quickly find the stairs. Oh, they're right here. That's easy. Oh my god. Yeah, they've all gone weird as well. Oh, all right. I would fly straight up, but there's leaves everywhere. So there we go. So this was like a cafe right at the top. Um, I might do something similar to this on, on the kind of new world as well. I uh, just kind of had this kind of like almost like a sky cafe type thing. That's really cool. Uh, that's quite nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that, that big world, uh, big, not world, but building. I might actually just punch through as I'm not going to be using this world anymore. And I'm going to be using all the kind of buildings from kind of start. Um, this is quite a simple hotel here. We've got a hotel over here as well. Uh, I'll just kind of show you guys the kind of interiors. This was one of the only buildings I've actually done an interior on as well uh, in this city. And I'm planning on doing the next one with full interiors. So this is just a restaurant. Super simple. Nothing really to it. The receptions, again, too simple. Uh, if we just go up a couple of floors to show you guys an actual a, a kind of bigger room, I'll go right to the top. Uh, here we go. Let's go into, I think, one of the end rooms is probably this one. Yeah, this one will be fine. So, again, it's really, really simple. Um, and I've kind of got a lot better interior designs as well. I think the bathroom, yeah, the bathroom is literally just a cauldron and some paintings, which isn't exactly imaginative, but I've got some really good ideas uh, for the kind of new series, definitely. Uh, but this is just the paint penthouse suite, again, super simple. Nothing really to it. Um, so there's kind of a lot, these are my kind of older things, this is why I want to kind of start fresh, I was, I'd have to come back in. Um, kind of restart it, so let's just go through this here. So you can see the small roads, they don't really suit the actual type of buildings, they make the buildings look too big. Uh, this is kind of a hospital. Um, it's kind of not, I was going to have a load of these subway stations, which I can actually go down 
I'll show you. I'm definitely going to have a subway in in my new city, but I really want to kind of plan it out, out really nicely and, and have it all kind of connected in kind of really smoothly as well. Uh, so I will definitely have some sort of subway system uh, kind of in place. Uh, so yeah, the hospital. Um, I actually used uh, Jag Funders. Uh, ambulance tutorials these are absolutely amazing i'm actually going to be just basically the cars and stuff like that and trucks i'm just going to do jag funders tutorials because they're they're really really good um and, and the builds look amazing at the kind of scale that they are um another thing this kind of bridge uh doesn't look quite right it's a bit too small oh, yeah, this is really funny i was putting random dudes around uh because why the hell not uh, <laughs> uh, just to kind of see what it would feel like if it was actually filled up so you can see this bus station i'll probably or bus stop probably copy that around but anyway yeah this this here um just not happy with it it doesn't look very nice compared to my other stuff it just looks really plain um and actually underneath the, the bridge i kind of was going to build this restaurant in here uh or some sort of bar or what tavern or pub or whatever um so yeah that's that uh have we missed any more buildings yeah I think we've missed a couple there's, there's there's just a couple of them this one was a work in progress. I've just been cutting into it, so there's not really much to show. This was another one we copied over from TechIt. Uh, what's this here? I've got, got a cool kind of helicopter up here. So that's one of my helicopters that I converted. I think that's the, the Huey. Um, I think all I've done is basically just filled in some of the back parts, but I'll probably go through kind of commercial, uh, uh, come on, kind of uh, converting them to commercial. That would be quite cool. Uh, this, this is quite an interesting building. Uh, it was going to kind of be a load of apartments. Um, and what I actually tried to do for the first time is actually kind of have this interior, interior uh, <laughs> kind of inside area, this kind of little courtyard here. Uh, up there you can actually see the Boeing 747 as well. Definitely going to be putting planes in into my new world in the sky because they look that looks really cool, especially through this gap. And I think that might have been one of the reasons I built this because it lined up. Um, yeah, I think this is quite an interesting idea to have all these kind of areas here. Um, and also this roof is quite nuts as well with the kind of air conditioning units and those kind of things. Um, so there's a couple of interesting ideas. Uh, down here we actually have an American style diner, or at least it was my attempt at an American style diner, as you can see. Um, all those kind of ones that you always see in movies that everybody kind of goes to. It's that kind of style, at least you see in the movie, movies, we don't have them in the UK of course. Uh, but but it's that kind of first kind of go at that. Um, the item frames lag the hell out of everything. Um, this is something I've just learnt. It's kind of it, it really does lag the hell out of stuff. So I'm actually gonna not use item frames in the new city just to keep lag down uh, in there. Um, what else have we got? We've got this weird bluey building, sandstone building, uh, gas station as well. Yeah, I've got some parking again. This doesn't look amazing at all. I need to kind of rework it, I think. Um, this was my kind of <laughs> my kind of creeper head um, that I had for the gas station. So this is kind of my first attempt at one. Uh, it looks okay, I guess. Uh, and again, item frames, as you can see, the amount of lag that it's actually creating. But it was pretty simple. Just got a creeper head as the kind of logo. I'll probably copy that over as a kind of fuel company. Just keep the creeper head going. Uh, it keeps on with the Minecraft style. Uh, this was then kind of like a town building, I guess kind of a medieval style but it was a really weird one this is before I actually started doing the medieval stuff again it's really odd uh, I'm, I'm just not keen on it at all uh, this kind of over overwalk type thing here I really like that actually I'll probably just copy that straight over uh, design wise uh, well, we've got another building and then we're back at the start so that's pretty much it for the actual tour to give you a kind of idea of what's going to be in the actual episodes themselves um, so now that I've kind of done that, let's kind of jump into into the actual kind of world. Um, and, and this is just going to be basically the first episode, just telling you guys what's going to be changing and, and what you can kind of expect to see a lot better, at least anyway, and the kind of things that I've learned as well. Um, so what we'll do now is jump into the actual kind of time lapse style. I'm planning on doing it kind of like time lapse style, and then also showing you guys an interior. So we'll kind of jump onto that, and um, then I'll give you a tour of what I've kind of done with the interior, so you can kind of get a feel for the new city. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I've just been working kind of on a map, uh, and this is going to be a really rough map. Uh, hopefully you guys can kind of see this all right. 
Um, I've just kind of mapped out exactly where I've kind of had things. I've just been play basically playing with World Painter. Uh, I've not really gone too in in depth with it, as you can see. These kind of bits here are still a bit rough, so I'll probably kind of pull it in when I get around to those areas uh, to kind of make them a little bit nicer. But the kind of main thing, we're kind of on this big river. Uh, this is actually a pretty big island as well, um, and you can see what I've kind of done is I've split the kind of the map in a way into two different areas. I've got the commercial side, which is going to be uh, on the left here and then I've also got on the right side is going to be the main military places and it'll be quite nice to actually split these two up um, across these actual, this actual river here so uh, kind of in this top corner here I'm planning on having a commercial airport I've got a couple thousand blocks I think here so it's, the map is 5,000 by 5,000 in total and this is the whole map um, so I'm going to put in an airport in there um, I'm not too sure what to put in the top right here um, what I'll probably do is, is, as I mentioned in my last update, I'll probably make this as kind of like one of you guys' zones. So you've actually got a sub zone where you can build your own your own kind of uh, city in there, um, and I'll kind of record on on the rest of the map and do that kind of stuff. Whereas you actually have your own zone where you can basically claim a plot um, of the actual little city over here, which will then join over to the airport, which I think would be really cool. So that's probably what I'm going to be using for that. Uh, so yeah, commercial airport, I'm going to be doing that. Uh, I'm actually going to have the main city here by this lake. This is kind of a marker for me uh, to know where it is. I've actually put in already a massive road, uh, which is a proper highway going across down here, which I've done kind of using uh, Jag Funder's ideas that he's been doing in his build, build It Better world. So I'll put a kind of link in the description when you guys can see that on uh, on, on the screen, as I'll put that on a bit later. Uh, so the main city is going to be there. This is where I'm actually going to be starting, just doing a couple of little buildings, just to get the kind of feel for it. Uh, I've got this government aisle here, which is going to be the main, this kind of main uh, kind of uh, place where I'm going to have a big government building, uh, which would be quite cool, probably quite futuristic as well. So that's what I kind of want to have. I want to have a couple of bridges jumping across this part. And uh, kind of at the top of the airport, I'll have a bridge going across here into the, the kind of sub city, I guess we could call it. Uh, Dakar Isle, of course, that's going to be um, uh, kind of where I've got my own little mansion on that island. So I've kind of built myself an island there. Uh, kind of island houses uh, sound kind of sounds a bit rough but um there's just gonna be a kind of couple of these kind of more fancy island houses which i can kind of get tutorials off and also having the commercial port down on this side here when i, I kind of get back to building uh, those kind of ships uh, and then of course on this side we've got the mountain uh, kind of military army base what i want to have is the kind of thing that we've still got with well the americans have got with uh, cheyenne mountain and actually have kind of a, a in the mountain kind of uh at military base and kind of research base and kind of go into that as well uh, as uh, at some point as well that would be kind of cool uh, I could also have a stack of military vehicles and things like that and, and kind of gun emplacements uh, bunkers those kind of things as well as like missile silos I want to kind of go into that uh, quite a lot and then of course derive tutorials from that so we've got it in front of this kind of little lake here uh, the military airport I'm planning to have going across this side here um, that of course will be quite a big airport. I'm also ha planning on having it basically with um, a kind of main square kind of uh, airport, and then having one going across the side as well. I'm I'm gonna have to mess around with a couple of ideas, and then the kind of main naval base will pretty much be running all the way from here all the way down to the bottom of the coast. Uh, so that's the kind of basic kind of outline of of the kind of city that I've kind of got. Uh, so let's jump into the world. Um, I'll kind of show you what I've already done. Uh, there'll be a kind of short time lapse that will be going across it and then I'll talk to you guys at the end um, basically uh, about about kind of uh, uh, the series and also kind of uh, for your you guys' input. So let's do it.
Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys one of the actual layers I've done before copying it to the top because then I can actually show you it as we kind of go go up with it. Um, so the first thing I've done is I've just kind of made this kind of way down and tried to make it look a little bit less uh, kind of flat, so I made it a bit more circular as you kind of step down onto this level. Uh, this bottom level, I'm probably going to make some sort of uh, commons area or, or something like that. I'm not too sure yet. Um, possibly even a shop or a restaurant or or something like that. I'm not I'm not 100 at the minute. Uh, but the first thing you can kind of see is that I've just cut off the entire top before copying and pasting uh, the kind of basic layers at least. Uh, I wanted to kind of show you guys um, the interior and also a top view of the actual plan uh, in case you're doing this off a tutorial, which there will be a tutorial for this building at some point. Uh, so I'll kind of give you an idea. So I don't know, let's go into this one, for example. Uh, so when you kind of just step through the doors, first thing I've got is a couple of these shelves here. I've got the tripwire hooks as kind of like... Uh, we can hang your coat, a couple of bookshelves. You then come into the main kind of common area. Uh, this is the kind of lower class, or not lower class, but probably medium medium class kind of uh, single apartment buildings. So they're quite small. Um, actually, directly across the way, you've actually got the bathroom. Might as well have a look inside here. It's quite dark at the minute because uh, the light doesn't really really come through, especially with it being open. But we've got just basically a, a, a really small bath with a shower head. Uh, we've got a really, really small toilet here which um, is literally just uh, actually can't remember what one of those is a hopper that's the one and a trap door and a button and then a kind of cauldron uh, with some water and also a lever as a tap so I'll just leave that in there uh, so yeah the main common area that we've got here just got a simple kind of uh, set of kind of chairs in the table uh, and with all of these they actually work out to be in the same place so you can see the other one is exactly the same uh, when we actually jump over to the other side, another, you know, you've got this kind of nice viewing area for each of these four uh, kind of apartments that you've got on on this floor. Um, so you can kind of look over. Well, this one you're looking over the road that there's a weird horse in there. Um, but now we've got the kind of kitchen area here, the kitchenette, which um, it's just got a nice kind of using the quartz slabs to go over here. We've got a flower pot, just a normal. Uh, I think it's an iron pressure plate, something like that. Uh, the fridge is pretty standard. I need to change the colour in that because it looks too white. Uh, for the actual furnace, uh, with this texture pack, it actually is an oven. And to kind of make the heat, you know, where all the heat and, and smoke goes, I've kind of used a quartz slab uh, and also used a trap door as the kind of actual vent. I think that looks quite cool. And then you've kind of got the TV as well over here, which is just very, very simple. And if we go into the, the bedroom, uh, which is, again, you've got a nice big window, which kind of looks over everything. You've then got in your uh, kind of bed and uh, you've got a couple of these chests. You've also got another chest over here and a couple of other paintings. Uh, so the actual layout that I went for, uh, these are all exactly the same. You can see that this section here, uh, it kind of looks like this. And it's quite kind of standard, I guess, or quite simple that you can kind of go around here and kind of watch its way here. And it kind of uh, it gets a little bit bigger because you don't need the bathroom to be that big, but you kind of want the bedroom a little bit bigger and kind of have the common area as the main kind of room. But... That's the kind of layout that I used, and all I did is I just copied it to the other side. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to kind of basically use World Edit and copy and paste this up a couple of layers. And the top two layers I've decided to actually have as kind of upper class, where I'm going to use an entire section like this um, as actually the room. So I will show you guys that after I've kind of done it after this video. Okay, so I'm just about to pretty much copy uh, these ones just on here. I, might, I thought I might, might as well actually add this in and how, how I actually go about this. So I've kind of completed my layer. I've put in the roof. I've put in that lighting uh, that I kind of meant to do. Uh, so that's all kind of kind of done now. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is basically just copy it. So the first thing I'm going to do is find where the floor layer is. And I'll just grab the first position with that one. You can see that I've got a load of blocks here. This is actually where I've been going to be... Uh, copying and also pasting from uh, as I know it is so I need to find the roof layer which is this one on the other side I grab that with position and then all I'm going to do is from this position right here as I've, I've basically put on the floor level of each layer and and then I can basically copy it up uh, to where I actually want it to go to it's a really kind of good way to actually map it out beforehand I'm just going to do copy and I'll copy all the blocks and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to the next level and do paste and then what will happen is we'll get the next level and you can see that it's in exactly the right kind of position where I wanted to. Uh, I've actually got some stuff floating around there but that doesn't really matter. So then we go to the next one. I can do exactly the same. Just paste. And I think we've just got 
these two levels I'm going to use for the higher level. So all I'm going to do is just go to here and do paste as well. So then we've got one, two, three, four kind of levels, uh, each of them with four apartments on them. So that's kind of already uh, kind of set that out pretty easily. And it does save a lot of time. Uh, obviously, you guys on the console versions won't be able to do this, unfortunately. Uh, but but it's kind of one of the reasons that you kind of want it on PC. And you can probably see this yellow kind of line going across. Um, that's mainly just to mark out where I, I kind of want to go up to. So one of the things that I did before actually kind of uh, obviously copying and pasting it, I made sure that my stairs would basically double back on themselves. So we're currently on the first level, which or the first level that I've done with this. And I made sure that the stairs kind of wrapped around and then went around. And what happens is when you go to the next one, you've got plenty of space and it just basically follows itself around. And you can basically just keep on going up. Um, I think this is probably the last one. Yeah, so we're on the last one. Uh, so it kind of works its way around kind of properly and it kind of just save a bit of time. What I could have done with actually doing after looking at this is actually putting in a white block here. Uh, so I'm actually going to go around quickly and just do that just to kind of finish up that little bit. Uh, there, but let's get on to, uh, I'm actually going to start now that I've done that. I'm going to start on the kind of, uh, the upper kind of levels, uh, which shouldn't take me too long. So I'll catch you guys when I've done that. Okay. So I now built the kind of, uh, interiors of the top two layers. So I can kind of see the difference already from the outside of these kind of the middle class single kind of apartments. Um, we, we've got these kind of bigger ones as well, uh, which I think look pretty cool. Actually, I can get rid of these was well, just kind of, a copy and pasting using world edit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to knock my way through because it started to get quite kind of uh, quite tall. It's not a massive building at all. It's quite small uh, in comparison of, of what I've kind of got planned, uh, but it's kind of nice and, and small for the kind of beginning. So uh, the same kind of kind of corridor part, of course, because the stairs, it kind of reached the top uh, and the rest is actually the roof. Um, I couldn't be bothered to do any sort of roof access type thing, uh, maybe at some point, but uh, there's not really too much point to it, as you can kind of see out quite nicely out of these apartments. So I'm just going to go out, uh, kind of go into this kind of room. It's got a little bit like a, a kind of uh, lighting isn't as strong as as kind of the ones downstairs as well. It's a bit more cooler. I've kind of gone for different star lighting instead of having the beam lights. Try to go for these kind of uh, diagonal ones, which I think look pretty cool. Uh, and across this table here. So the first thing I'll do, I think, is show you guys the main, this main kind of commons room, I guess, uh, that we've kind of got. So got a kitchen which is pretty much the same as the other ones that we've already got um, I ended up switching this out for iron uh, it still is really really light actually with with shaders without shaders it looks kind of silvery uh, which is why I went for that same kind of uh, kitchen layout pretty much uh, one thing that we do have is we have this kind of big dining kind of uh, table I guess uh, just using the stairs and also slabs and, and just for the back of these using iron doors uh, next here We've got so we've just got this kind of um, this kind of lounging area. It's not really uh, we've got the TV over there, but it's just mainly a general lounging area uh, where if you have like, friends over and things like that, you can just sit here and just talk while admiring quite a nice view outside of the windows. Uh, you know, the lovely view of the road and of the oil tanker. Um, got a jukebox as well. That's always good. And then you've got a really big TV compared to the other ones, and also a kind of coffee table. That's kind of close as we can kind of get. So you can sit here and watch TV. Um, we'll quickly go into the bathroom first. So it's a little bit bigger. You can see the kind of lighting. Uh, the, the actual bath shower type thing is actually uh, one block bigger. Just to make it seem a little bit bigger. Uh, normal sink. Uh, the toilet design, I decided to go for something a little bit different using an anvil and then using a hopper. Still got the trap door and then just having a full block. Um, I'm still not sure about it, but it's, it's kind of trying out a different style. Uh, and it does take up a, a little bit extra kind of space, but that's pretty much it for the actual bathroom. So now if we go into here where there's a, a wooden door on the floor. Oh, okay. And a couple of the things have fallen off. So I'm, maybe some of the paintings haven't actually copied when I kind of copied it. But what I did have here, if I can actually find it. And I might not be able to find it, but there is actually a kind of computer uh, as a painting with this texture pack so oh there we go and there we go there it is right so I almost lost it so there you go so you got this kind of computer as a texture pack uh, kind of painting which I think is quite cool uh, double bed this time uh, and you got a couple of chests and things like that but that's pretty much it but from the bedroom of course you got a really nice view actually on this kind of this bit that kind of comes out you know you can like wake up and you'd, you'd be able to look pretty much in most directions so 
that's pretty much it for for the kind of uh, upper ones. There's only four of these kind of rooms in this apartment building, um, but I'm pretty happy with if, with how the actual interior has turned out as well. Uh, one thing that I haven't used is the item frames because they do they do just lag it out completely. Uh, so I'm just going to miss that out of the building, and it has improved the actual performance um, as I'm running pretty high quality shaders, and I'm still getting around 20 FPS, which isn't too bad for for like this kind of world. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. I've still got the bottom floor to do. I'm going to do that off camera. Um, uh, just because I kind of need to figure out something to actually do it with. Uh, it's been quite a long episode as a first episode. Uh, just because we had that mainly that tour at the beginning. Um, but what I am planning on doing with the next kind of episodes. Is literally have a time lapse. And then have me going through uh, bits of the interior. Or going through bits of the build that might be kind of new. Just to give you guys ideas uh, and things like that. Um, so that's pretty much it for it. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, make sure to comment, like and subscribe if you like the content. Uh, also kind of uh, request what you want to see next and what area you want me to go to next as well. Obviously the bigger sections will take me longer like the commercial airport will take me a, a good deal of episodes. So I'd like to get a couple of these basic buildings done first to kind of get a feel uh, for the actual city and things like that. Um, also before I actually kind of go. Um, these roads are actually from uh, uh, from Jag Funder One. His his actual uh, tutorials, so Jag Funder's tutorials. The same with the cars. This one's actually an Opal Blitz that I made ages ago, and kind of edited. If I actually just turn it back today again. Uh, but these cars here, uh, this is actually a kind of modified version of Jag Funder's car tutorial. I'll put a link in the uh, in the description for that. Another one from Jag Funder and another one from Jag Funder that I've kind of modified. And of course his trucks, which are absolutely amazing and they, they really do fit in really nicely. Uh, so there'll be a, a kind of tutorial link for the roads, uh, the cars, and also the truck tutorial in the description. So um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. It has been, it has been really long, so I have to apologize about it being long. But um, I'll see you guys on the next one.